Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another brand new video today. And we are going to be talking about AI bots, Interstellar, and Bot Lobby Lottery. My goodness, we are jumping into some high rise, and it's our first ever game with the Interstellar camo. We just got it just then. I'm goddamn excited. And these challenges, they were tough. So let me know in the comment section below if you have anything that you're struggling with or finding difficult with when it comes to the weapon camo challenges themselves. But Look, I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, we're going to be jumping into the video to talk about some of these ground war, um, you know, accusations that are happening, man. It seems that ground war seems... Yo, this kid just got pieced. They just got pieced. These kids just got pieced just then. Okay, get off me, son. I am your dad. All right, but look, jumping into ground war, it seems that from research and from looking at some Twitter, or formerly known as X, uh, that skill-based matchmaking has been turned off. Now, there's some default skins running around with no idea, spinning around, um, literally like 40-year-old dad that's first picking up the game from his son that's, you know, half a quarter of his age just slamming on him. And it seems that the ground war has no skill-based matchmaking. You know, jumping into that, they find it too difficult to do that. Now, this poses the question to me, right, that maybe they're struggling to get enough, to get enough player base. Maybe? I don't know. This is just a bit of a tinfoil hat speculation here, okay? A little bit of that speculation. But look, I think that we forget as well that seeing these burgers due to, you know, how much skill-based matchmaking has been ramped up over the years. I feel like since uh, since after Black Ops 4, it was barely there. But after, since then, it's just been slowly on that incline you know it's it's just it's just there we are we're on the bell curve but we're yet to have the decrease we're yet to hit the median and we are still skyrocketing like some really good stocks of a company that's rocketing right now i don't know i don't know you actually probably activision their, pro their stocks are probably going up their stocks are like their skill best match banking just skyrocketing okay we're going to assume that they're going well on the marketplace so there we go um but look Back to the point as well, the AI bots. Now, you know, let's say that they're not getting enough lobbies. You know, that means that that means that there's not enough player sales, that the game's dying off a little bit. Maybe they're diversifying the game a little bit too much. A little bit too much. You know, there's too many game modes. There's hardcore with all the game modes. Then there's core with all the game modes. Then there's going to be um, the 10v10s. Then there's going to be ground war. Then there's war mode. Like, man, player diversity it's split up it's like my my debate that i always have with my friends i'm like you know plunder and and all that type of stuff's great but when you add plunder when you add warzone you know solos duos trios quads plus you know a, a, an ltm mode like you've got all these 150 player lobbies like that's that's already just there like n nearly at you know like 800 people just there off the top of my head um, it, it's crazy. It honestly is crazy. And I think that they, they might be struggling and they're not going to be bringing that out. Uh, but look, I think that this is the thing, right? They choose to add these bots, maybe as actual bots, because they're doing a little bit of preseason testing for when Krampus wants a slice, a slice of you and your mum and slide cancels into her DMs whilst ruining your KD. I don't know. That that just, that could be another theory, okay? We're, we're, we're just spinning things out, Okay. But that, you know, we're going to segue on to the next topic. And man, I miss Christmas noobs, bro. I miss that shit. That was the peak of Call of Duty. That was pinnacle. I remember I used to wake up in the morning and tell mum and dad, and they'd understand. Like, did you guys do the same? Did you guys miss that too when it comes to Christmas noobs? Because my God, that was the best Call of Duty gaming ever. You wake up, you, you put clothes on between games, you're rushing, you, you're playing, you're loading up, you're putting one sock on, then drop into a game of Dom, then you put another sock on, then you jump into the, a ne the next game and whatnot. That was it. Just playing. Grinding for a few hours, get together with the family before the Christmas feed. It was such a big thing that literally, like, everyone in my family knew that I'd do it. Um, so they're like, did you slay out Jacko this morning? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Did you get out of your system? Absolutely not. I'll be on tonight. <laughs> but when it comes to that, I feel like that nostalgic right there, it, it, it needs to come back. You know, Christmas, imagine that skill best matchmaking turned off on Christmas day. The numbers would be off the Richter scale, mate. Now, not to mention that not everyone celebrates Christmas as well with family either. 
So if you know someone that is alone this Christmas or, you know, and, and you know, they have free plans, then invite them over. Hit them to catch up or something. It'll make their day. Um, it's, it's you know, keep your, keep your bros and, and sisters close, okay? Now, I unlocked Interstellar and holy heck, that was some tough stuff. That I am, I'm literally sick of Rust. I'm never playing that map again. It sucks. I'm done with it. It's mindless running around, tanking the KD. I am completely over it. And not to mention, man, like some of the people that I versed in Rust, they were so sweaty, bro. So sweaty. So sweaty, bro. It was ridiculous. Now, there were some bad challenges on the camo grind. And I'd like to know in the comments what you guys think of the worst challenge was. If you know, if you're stuck or, you know, what it is so far that you're on. But I'll tell you what, I found the worst challenges. One of the worst was revenge kills with a knife, which is when someone kills you, you've got to like deliberately like chin them. You've got to hit them with the chin, let them kill you. And then you've got to go find them again with a knife. And then you need to do that 15 times for the revenge kills as well. And this guy got absolutely smoked. we got the advanced UAV. I'm absolutely piecing up this team. Uh, we've got the priceless camo there. We've also got the, uh, what's it called? Oh, the forge camo. Actually, this is not an interstellar gameplay, fellas. This is not an interstellar gameplay. We are playing with forged. Okay, so the interstellar, that'll come up next. You guys will see plenty of videos like that. But next up that I found that was bad was the Haymaker shotgun. Now, that thing shoots marshmallows. Okay, it stinks. And I just got smoked by a bouncing Betty. That sucks. Now, the, the Haymaker shotgun is like that semi-automatic one. has the big drum mag in it. It just sucks, man. You shoot it. Dunk, 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 dunk. It just, it just does nothing. Now, another one was with SMGs. Kill 15 enemies affected by your equipment. Now, this one is just shooting enemies whilst they are affected by a stun. And let me tell you, that is a ridiculous, ridiculous challenge, man. It did my head in. It really... It genuinely upset me. It made me very upset. Oh, look at the fiends lining up. And I choked. Oh, I choked it. I choked it. Spencey took me out. I had the five man, baby. I was coming in the G freak. Sliding in there, baby. But the equipment, stunning people and then jumping around the corner and doing that, especially on Rust. It was so, it was so, it was so hard, man. It was, it was the biggest pain in the ass, but. I don't know who who's over there at Activision Sledgehammer Games, but man, I was just, I was struggling with that. Like, even like the headshots, when it comes to the headshots one, I would be like, oh my God, man, like I'd just be choking the headshots. But anyway, I am piecing in this game, popping off the biggest burger team I've ever seen in ages. And it feels good to be using a competitive gun for once. You know, streaks, I'll start using them again as I'd like to use things other than the UAV, counter UAV and advanced UAV, due to just like needing gun kills and gun leveling up and everything like that. Because the streaks take away from your gun kills and leveling and the camo challenges and everything that you need to do to complete those challenges. So you've got to make sure that if you are grinding those challenges for the guns, um, to, to, to make sure that you enable yourself the best opportunity to be able to get the gun kills and everything like that. But just then, we went 33 kills. I think we dropped like a 7 KD in this map. So we we popped off. We tanked it. Obviously, um, I didn't have the camo on this game. I'm kind of pissed off, actually. But um, we talked about the, <laughs> the Interstellar and the AI bots as well. That's a, that's a big one. That's going to be interesting for Warzone. Uh, there we go. There's there's the big boy KD, 33 and 5. Uh, but we'll see you guys on the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, remember to be safe. Stay swell. And as always, boom, baby. Peace.